everyone imagine this is our data okay 0 0.8795 and if you want to format this just right click on it and go to this format cells and here you'll have an option of selecting the category here for example if you want to convert this particular integer in terms of currency maybe you just go here and what you can do is here you can select the decimal places for example I, i'm just keep keeping as it is and if i just click on ok then automatically this number would turn into a currency value for example if you don't want this to be in the rupees maybe you want it in the dollars you can easily change uh, you, you just go here in this tab in the number group just tap on this drop down and here you'll find an option called currency okay and uh, for example if you right click here format cells and then go to this currency if you don't want this change the symbol here earlier it was in rupees if you want in the dollars i'm selecting this canadian dollars okay if i click ok then obviously my number would turn into dollars and here see here here i'm seeing clearly it is 0 0.88 dollars and if you don't want this okay you only need only one digit after decimal then what you can do is just tap on this option this is a decreasing decimal option so if you just click on this automatically your number would get reduced it would round it to the uh, one decimal place okay earlier it was 0 0.88 but after when i press this uh, decreasing decimal option it would get rounded to the nearest number to that 0 0.88 so obviously for 0 0.88 0 0.9 would be the closest number so it has been rounded off for this particular number and uh, when you just look into this formula bar here your earlier value that is 0 0.8795 which you have entered earlier would remain as it is okay it won't impact the uh, it won't impact its original value it only appears when you change this into the required currency format it will only change the appearance of it but it actual value would remain same and also for example i'm giving a decimal like maybe two one point two point eight nine six five seven okay imagine this is my decimal imagine this is my decimal okay and uh, if you want to if you want to format this thing so what you can do is for example you don't want these many numbers after the decimal so you just tap on this particular option so it would automatically decrease your number here. For example, see, if I just tap it for two to three times, maybe two times, okay, one, so it will get reduced and two, so this time, and again, if I tap on the third time, see here, it would get rounded to the 2.90. But when you observe in the formula bar, the original value of it remains as it is, okay. For example, I'm copying this, Oh, I want to paste it here. Okay. So now what we can do is we want to play with this thing. For example, I want to use few functions here. So I want to round this thing in the sense how to do that. <clears throat> Equal to I'm using here round function. So this is a function where we can easily round up the values that we want so you need to select the number so i'm selecting this particular cell wherein i have my number and you also need to select how many digits after decimal for how many digits do you want it to be limited for example i only need two digits so i'm passing two as my argument and if i close the bracket and enter then automatically see this whole entire cell would be rounded to 2.9 which is the closest number of this 2.89 okay and if you don't want this number to be rounded for two digits instead you can pass you have decided to pass for four digits maybe no so what you can do so if you just round it select the cell 
and press comma and you need to pass the number of digits in the sense argument so maybe i want to round it for four digits only four digits i don't want any five digits i only need four digits so if i press enter see here earlier it was five digits one two three four five now if i press uh, now if i pass four as the argument if i press enter see it has been rounded off for four digits after the decimal okay so what does a round function will usually do is it usually limits the number of digits after the decimal to the to that number that you have passed as an argument in the function okay and it also rounds it to the closest number of it for example if i if i pass four digits i mean i only want four digits after my decimal then how would it usually round it for for example see 8965 what is the closest of 8965 obviously 8966 is the closest one okay and also if you want to but now this time you don't want to round this instead you want to remove it completely for example out of all these five uh, for example out of all these five uh, five digits after the decimal i only need two digits okay i don't want to change the uh, structure of it for example equal to i'm using truncate function here it is and i just need to select the digit uh, number and after that i need to pass for how many digits i want this to be applicable i only need two digits after my decimal so i'm passing two okay and if i press i mean if i after closing the bracket if i press enter then see here after see 2.89 would be my result in the sense it has removed this it has removed it has only kept 2.89 and after this after the two digits it has removed everything every single digit it has removed see here why because here i have chosen two as my argument in the sense i don't want uh, any other numbers except two digits after the decimal so uh, except two digits after the decimal it will usually remove all the digits all the other digits beyond the two okay so likewise you can easily do that but when you go to this uh, but when you check this the structure would be remain same only when i use when you are using the function uh, it won't remain same why because it is the end result but here when you are uh, doing any other modifications by decreasing or increasing the decimal your numbers structure would re actually remain the same